Hi guys, it's Tuesday special with Toby. My name is Oluwa Toby Olaimbe. Happy December to you again. Go ahead, said. Choose well. Your choice is brief and yet endless. That struck me. That takes me to my topic, which is you choose. You know that while you're driving, for example, you decide what lane you want to be on. Now, if you drive around Lagos and environs, you would see that some places are marked for heavy duty trucks, for you know long buses and all of that. If you choose that lane, you might go free. But if the authorities should get a hold of you, you might not go scot free. And while driving, even on a place where your car is supposed to ply, you would see that nobody tells you or nobody moves your car from the point where it is to another lane. You choose your lane. So what am I trying to say essentially? Whatever we're going through in life, it is as a result of some of the choices that we have made. And some of these choices would have impacted us either negatively or positively. Now, even in creation, we are made to understand that God Almighty also gave us the freedom to choose. So you say that I have given you um, life and death. I advise you to choose life. Even, you know, while Jesus was on earth and a Christian, you know, he was also advising that you choose life. So at the end of the day, there's still a freedom of choice. So I'm saying you choose. So you have to essentially understand that this is the stage I am. These are the things I want to do. These are the things that I want to see my life metamorphosed into in the nearest future. When I'm 65 or 70, this is what I want my life to look like. Although we will say that, yes, essentially, as Christians, our lives are in the hands of God. But really, God has also given you that free will to choose. So you can choose either to go to school or not to go to school. Your parents can want to send you to school, but when you get to school, you say you don't want to go to school any longer. Your choice. You can say, okay, I want to be a singer. Your choice. You can say, I want to be a speaker. Your choice. You can say, I want to be a member of a gang. Your choice. But essentially, what is the impact of this choice you're making on your life or your overall productivity? That should be what you would be thinking about. If you choose rightly, you might get the right results. Now, some of us might be wondering that, oh, you, know, you use the car um, as an analysis or as an example. Um, what if I'm not the one driving the car? Like that of which, um, like that of your parents, rather. You would see that even if there's a driver in the car, the driver dictates where the vehicle is going to go to. The driver dictates that, okay, I'm going to be on this lane or on that lane. It is now left for you to understand and know what kind of vehicle you want to get into. So if you're listening to people, you're listening to mentors, you're listening to teachers, you're listening to preachers, you're listening to lecturers, the choice is still yours to get whatever you want to get from them or stop following them because some people are not meant to be followed. They will just mislead you and take you to that path that you do not desire. So what is your choice today? My choice is to keep developing and keep adding value to humans that will in turn also add value to me. You should choose wisely. I mean, you choose. What do you want to do? See you next week, Tuesday. My name again is Oluwatobi. Online. Bye.